This video demonstrates an unusual hardware and software combination to make time-lapse videos of 3D prints made on a CME CNC Artemis printer. This uses a technique similar to Octolapse in that it moves the print head out of the way for each layer change. This style lets the shape of the print emerge without seeing most of the printer's hardware. Because the Artemis printer uses a wireless duet controller, Octolapse was not available so I came up with something that yields similar results. This is a very early attempt, and it needs some tweaking, but the results are promising. So here is a 20-second time lapse of a 7-hour print, followed by an overview of the hardware and software used. I used Magigoo on the printer's heated glass bed. It releases the print when the glass cools down, making the print very easy to remove. And now let's take a look at the hardware and the software setup. I'm going to show a quick video of this rather unusual hardware and software setup for making time-lapse pictures on my CME CNC Artemis. You will see here that for each layer, the head is going to move out of the way and the camera is going to snap a picture. So what we have here is the Artemis with a couple of lights. I've got a panel light over here. There's a light on the side there, light on the side there. And once again, every layer, when the layer is complete, the head moves out of the way and you hear a little click and it takes a picture. And the way this is done is I've modified the uh, carriage here to have a little plate and above that I've mounted a micro switch and I've bent the uh, tang on the micro switch so that it can be pressed by the uh, by the carriage when it comes up. The switch is mounted on a piece of lucite here which right now is just being clamped to the vertical column just so I could easily position this during my test and what this does is it allows the, uh, the carriage to come up and click the switch. The switch is attached to another computer here and we'll talk about the software in a minute which is down here there is a thing called an X-key controller. And this is an X-key controller that can control three switches. And right now, there's a wire coming in from that switch into USB. The other USB is from this camera, which is a Logitech C925E. And what that's doing is it's controlling vMix and vMix is a video mixing program that I use for live streaming and remote demonstrations and things like that. And what this is doing is it's set up that every time it sees a, a press on the X key controller, it is saving whatever is over here. It's saving a picture, a snapshot to a folder and so this particular one, we're going to wind up with about five, no, about 700 items. And the whole idea with this is that it's taking a picture when the um, head moves out of the way. So we're getting a time lapse 
without seeing the print head in the picture. You'll see it jump out of the way. And, and what I needed to do was I needed to slow down the entry as it comes near the switch because the computer that's running vMix is a very slow computer. I use this only really to uh, drive a 40 watt CO2 laser. So it's a, a very inexpensive computer. And sometimes the video is lagging behind the, uh, the actual real time feed. So by bringing the carriage up to a particular Z point and then slowing it down gives enough time for the video to catch up and it works out very very nicely you'll see again if you if you watch the micro switch you'll see that I'm bringing it up to X0 Y0 and Z208 very quickly and then move it up to Z228 rather slowly and that works for models up to about five and a half inch high and it's working pretty well because it gets it out of the way and what that does is it winds up with photos that look like that and just little by little it's creeping up and then I will combine the photos and in a video editing program to create the time lapse. So that's the rather unusual setup. The Artemis tripping a micro switch, which is connected to an X key controller, which is going into a computer with vMix. I've got the camera sitting on a microphone stand here. Uh, this is another camera here, which is a WISE security camera, which lets me monitor the progress even in the dark. And it's uh, really kind of kind of cool. Right now, this is a temporary mounting. You can see I've just got a clamp here holding the micro switch on. Uh, this is temporary, but this was uh, proof of concept here. And I'll be able to adjust it. Oh, I forgot to mention. This is the G code on the layer change script. First thing is a G90 to set absolute positioning. Then a G1 uh, to X0, Y0, Z208. Uh, comes up very quickly to come close to the switch. Then there's a uh, pause for about a tenth of a second. Then move the switch up to actually click the switch with a slower feed rate. And then just pausing uh, for a tenth of a second before it resumes the print. So this is pretty cool. This is in simplified 3D. So this is what it looks like over and over and over again. In this case about 700 times as the dragon is built. Um, this uh, dragon is called uh, the Adelinda Singing Dragon. I downloaded it from Thingiverse and the I got this idea from a video from a fellow named uh, whose channel is Make Anything, and uh, he did this on a Prusa i3 style computer, where he used the um, uh, the head to actually press a button on a remote control for a DSLR. But I didn't want to use a DSLR. I really wanted to use a webcam controlled by a computer, and since I already use and am very familiar with uh, vMix, I said, well, let me see if I can get all of these pieces to work together for me. So, again, as far as I know, I'm the only one doing something like this, and it's a very unusual case, a use case for this arrangement.